Hey everyone, thanks so much for clicking on this video. It's gonna be a basic kind of review, somewhat mini tutorial of using this Splat Hair Dye product. This is a brand that I have used multiple times throughout the years, so I figured I would go ahead, since I was coloring my hair anyway, give a little review for you all and let you know my thoughts. So to start, this color here is Blue Envy. This is my first time using the full color. Normally I mix colors or I'll do like an ombre or multicolor or something like that. Um, and I was worried I almost needed a second box. I kind of technically think I did need a second box, but because I don't do my roots and I lighten it up a little bit like underneath behind, then I think I just got away with it. But realistically, this is how long my hair is. So you see like in here, I don't bleach it as much because my natural hair color is dark. Uh, so that's why I went for a little bit darker color so that my roots would kind of just blend into that. But this color, Blue Envy, and most of the most of the colors in this product are going to run you anywhere from like $10 to $13. So it's extremely affordable. And these kits do include the bleach that you would need if you have darker colored hair or if you're looking for a stronger, more vivid color. So I think that's a very good bang for your buck. Now you need a few other things that don't come with the kit. Um, I would recommend getting a different pair of gloves because the gloves that they give you are pretty large and they move around. They don't really provide a whole lot of protection and I tend to get color seep through those gloves quite a bit. So I would definitely get another pair of gloves. Uh, two, I would recommend having a really good hair mask or a hair product care that you can put into your hair once you finish completely finish the dyeing process so you're supposed to you put a little bit of conditioner in your hair right at the end so this way i think the mask helps a little bit better also you'll need a comb or a brush some clips hair ties anything like that to kind of part your hair out depending on how you're wanting to color it now basically you don't use the bleach if your hair is already blonde or light enough for you then you can just set the bleed off to the side so I kind of just hold on to that for whenever I'm ready to color again um, also this color the blues I've tried every single form of blue they have an aqua a teal uh, like a midnight blue and the blues are very very messy so that is kind of the biggest negative for me is how messy they are it's a big cleanup process my tub is stained afterwards after I rinse my hair out. I still get blue, you know, on my arms. It's going to be on the clothing. It's going to drip to the floor. So you want to really make sure that you protect and cover the floor with grungy towels, newspaper, plastic, tarp, whatever you have. Um, and then just know that your, your tub, you're going to have to scrub. You're going to have to scrub the heck out of your tub afterwards. Now, when I say to get different gloves, um, I do use kitchen cleaning gloves or so just the rubber gloves because they go up higher on my arms so it gives me more protection. Um, I also use, I forget what it's called but you'll see a picture of it right here, um, basically like a type of gel so that if you get color around like your forehead or on your ears, your neck, that gel is going to keep it from actually staining and it's going to be a lot easier cleanup so you're not going to have to scrub the heck out of your skin afterwards. Let's talk about how long the color lasts and another reason why I chose this color. I was in between a blue and a lighter green but I love the blue because it lasts a few months overall but it does fade. Every single wash color comes out. So the first couple of hair washes, again, you're going to expect <laughs> to have blue in your tub. Um, so the first time after I do it, I wait three days before washing my hair. Once it sits for the three days, I found that washing it the first time is a little bit less intense, but the color does gradually come out and it's going to soften up into a little bit lighter blue. Then it's going to have a little bit of an aqua color. Then it gets a little bit green. So I like that because one use and I get multiple colors throughout the time. Uh, plus, if I want to go green after, then I've already have bleached all my hair and I can put the green on top and it would kind of just create this probably two-tone mermaid effect. So when I go through the bleaching process, I really don't want to touch my scalp, so that's why you can see it's I leave it here. So for the bleach process, the first time after I finish completely, I start from the top and I pin my hair up as I go and I grab layers because I want the outer part to get the longest set of bleach. The, the hair underneath, I don't mind if it doesn't you know show up as much. 
and I am trying very hard to not leave the bleach in for longer than necessary so after 30 minutes I checked it wasn't quite where I wanted I still had some darker spots like back in here and a little bit on the top so I left it in and I checked back in another 15 minutes after the extra 15 minutes it was good where I wanted it so I went ahead and washed all that out now I don't use any shampoo or anything right away I literally just use cool water and I just wash all the bleach out as much as possible after that then yes I do use some shampoo just a little bit just to really kind of clean out the chemical part of the bleach like the smell and things like that just to make sure my hair has a little bit of wash but you don't want to use a lot of shampoo because the cleaner your hair is the longer the product is going to have to sit and stay the little bit harder it is to take to your hair so for me, after I did the bleach, it was a long process because I choose not to blow dry my hair. I've already put a lot of heat in there with that bleach, so I don't want to go in and double up and blow dry it. So I do choose to air dry my hair. Of course, I use a towel. I try to get up as much water as possible. And then I go ahead and just let it dry out naturally, which did take a while. So I waited until the next day to actually go in with the blue. And I think that was good because you don't really want to rush this process. That's where I find that a lot of people, they're unhappy with it. They damage their hair. They, they burn their scalp. It doesn't come out good. They get stained all over themselves. Uh, is when you rush. This, this is not a fast job. It's not something that just boom, you can do real quick and be ready to go. Yeah, so after I went ahead and put all of the blue in, I decided, okay, it's time. Let's get this thing colored. And that probably took me about 30, 40 minutes to color everything, make sure everything was good to go. I did pretty good on not getting the blue on my hands or anything. Um, I think I got a little bit up here kind of from my where right where the glove ends when I was washing my hair because I keep the gloves on when I rinse my hair out I do keep my gloves on even when you go to you know if you blow dry or straighten or curl your hair afterwards even though it's dry if I continue to run my hands through my hair it will still pick up some of the color and this is the harshest with the blues the purple the pinks even the greens really I don't notice it as much uh, so I think the blue is just so intense. And I let the color sit for about 30, 40 minutes. I think it was closer to 40 minutes. And I would recommend if your hair is a little bit darker, if you don't use the bleaching kit, to let it sit for a little bit longer. That's what I used to do when my hair was like a light brown. I would let it sit for about an hour. Uh, I'm not a professional. I'm not a hairstylist. I've never worked at a salon. I just have always done my hair myself because I figured... If someone else can do it, then I can do it too. And I like to save money where I can. So this is a very affordable way for me to do it myself and still get the fresh look, still get the new style, still feel cute and pampered, uh, but not have to spend an arm and a leg, so to speak. So yeah, overall, this is it. I am very happy with it. I'm probably going to keep it like this. Um, probably just until it washes out and then we'll try a different color or this part should lighten up a little bit faster so maybe I'll go in with you know that green or teal or something but thank you all so much for watching if you have any questions I will link the products that I showed and used down below so go ahead and check that out and I will see y'all next time